hey guys welcome back so guys in this video we are going to continue the video of website designing crash course using bootstrap okay so guys let's get started with it so guys till now we have done our client testimonial okay so this is the client testimonial and the owl carousel okay so now we are going to proceed further with the website designing so that is guys it's like see here till now we have completed this times and now we are going to do this section okay after that this our latest projects how you can view these things okay so guys uh, let's get continued with it so let's get started with it so let us see okay so it is a below thing the client testimonial and till now we have completed with this client testimonial so guys as per the design we need the same thing and the underline as per this template what we have designed it so guys i'm just going to copy this okay so before that i will start with the section section container row and the column so inside column i'll call these two things okay so copy and paste it done so i would like to keep this content in center so let us give text center and these are the two things that is like v provide complete interior design solution so let us type this red thing v provide complete interior design solutions done so now we will view this output till now what we have done control r let's scroll down so we have completed this part and now i am going to design with this icon and the heading simple simple things okay so as let's um get back so this is a container now we will create one row okay so not capital we have to make it in small r o w row so inside this row i am going to create one column three inch column so that will be divided into four okay so total we have 12 12 we can divide in 3 3 6 3 9 3 12 okay so let us just make one text center for the content and images to be in center and now let us call the image img image and i have already designed one icon and kept here icon.png so inside image folder so let us type images folder and my icon.png and let's keep the for the width to be 100 percent okay and let us type this h6 and this is called modular kit chen kitchen okay so let us save this and run the output for it so control r okay so this is the design guys and but i need this in little smaller size so let's get and set to 50 percent let's save this so bootstrap contains 25 50 75 and 100 okay so let us load it so i think it's fine but let us let us make little more smaller so i have made it 25 so 25 save this and reload the page so i think it's fine but it's too small so let us set back to 50 itself so just go to 50 and leave it control z so let us call this four times so before that i will just give inside this column margin three okay margin top three so it will come little below margin top three right and now let us save this copy paste okay 
फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट दैट्स इट कंट्रोल आर सो एट टाइम्स इट्स पेस्टेड राइट सो इफ यू वॉन्ट द आइकन टू बी स्मॉल मेक इट मोर स्मॉल यू कैन एडजस्ट ओके सो एज पर द डिज़ाइन पर्पज योर साइजस सो गाइस नाउ वी हैव कंप्लीटेड दिस सेक्शन एंड नाउ लेट अस मूव विद द अनदर सेक्शन दैट इज द इमेजेस व्हाट वी आर गोइंग टू सेट फॉर द लेटेस्ट प्रोजेक्ट्स ओके सो द डिज़ाइन इज सेम फॉर द हेडिंग एंड नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सेट दिस इमेजेस राइट सो लेट अस गेट बैक लेट्स कॉल द सेम थिंग सेक्शन कंटेनर रू एवरीथिंग सो लेटेस्ट सेक्शन container row column md12 so inside that i need the headers headings let's paste it so after pasting we are going to type that our latest projects right so let's type our latest projects okay save it and uh, this is the row done let's see the output for it control r our latest projects and we need one small paragraph below it so let us tell inside this paragraph get the best latest projects with funda of web it okay save control r and you get here okay so let's make this in center so to make that in center everything we will cut this text center and directly paste in the column okay so it will all the text will be in center control r so everything is center now now guys what we have to do is that we have to set the images with the full thing okay so for that let us get started with it so guys now here is the row and now what i'm going to do the i'm going to set the container container hyphen flu id fluid okay so inside fluid cont container fluid i'm setting okay so after the container ends so container start container end now we are new container start container end okay so inside this is set row so after setting row you have to set the columns so that is column column md3 okay so because it is 1 2 3 4 4 images right so 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 is 12 so guys let us set it and i am going to call one image tag so let us go to our folder services so we can take this image okay so service 1 i have given so let us go back to our coding so let's type inside images folder images folder inside service folder services slash serv1.jpg okay and let's set the class for this image width will be 100% and then we can mention our name like projects done so guys now let us just view the output for this once so reload the page okay so guys here it is set now why this is coming perfectly because we have given 100% so let us set this for the everything okay so before that make sure you are giving margin top 2 okay so that 2 pixel to margin top 2 pixel will be done 2 uh, rem okay so just give it and now let us copy this 
paste, 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 paste. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Save this and let's get back. Control R. So everything is coming fine. But we don't want this extra things, okay? Which is extra lines over here. So what we can do is that. So for that we have to give margin pixels, okay? So padding x 1% if you give. Let us test with two things. So before that. So let me s control R here guys it's coming fine with it okay so we are going to set that padding x padding x means your right left and right thing padding will be decreased by the bootstrap right so let us give for everyone every column we are going to give so the column contains over here the padding so we are going to decrease the padding for this that's it so it's coming fine and perfect so guys now we will come to the get in touch part okay so before this starting i will show in this video that's it guys so in next video we will see how to set the google map into our website and uh, register and then how to send a mail also or how to design the form okay so guys thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share